If you've been around the Atari ST for a long time, you might remember that back in the late 80s, the ST became the leading platform for MIDI. Probably because of its built-in MIDI interface, software publishers created some astounding software to help musicians with their creative process. In fact, Steinberg's Cubase is now the premier software for music creation, but it was first released for the Atari ST. Several iterations followed until the ST's untimely demise in the early 90s, and now Cubase is mainly used on Windows and Mac systems with a host of features that were only dreamt of in the beginning. So because the ST hardware isn't generally available anymore, uh, we're going to see about running the software on an emulator and hooking it up to your MIDI device. Now I'm not going to go over a full installation of the Steam emulator. I have that in other videos. But rather I'm talking about how to configure it to talk to your MIDI device. Then the other thing you need is going to be a MIDI capable device. In this particular instance, I'm going to use a keyboard. Now in my keyboard, it has a modern USB connectivity for MIDI. You just simply plug in a certain cable there. Usually one looks something like this, but there are others available. You may have uh, something like this, or even a uh, mixer uh, like this. Now back in the day, you hooked up your physical ST to a MIDI device uh, using some cables, or I had a little box uh, that was a MIDI router basically. Nowadays it's going to look a little different, but we're going to talk about hooking it up to a PC that is running the Steam emulator. So all you have to do is plug in the device according to its instructions and go to Steam. Once you do that, you can come over here to its configuration menu. There you'll notice there's one for MIDI, and you just go to the drop down and choose the MIDI mapper right here. And if your device is on and connected correctly, it'll show up here. In this particular case, it's not. So once you have it physically connected correctly and configured correctly, you may have to restart Steam so it will reflect it here. And that's what you should see here. You'll notice that now that I have it turned on, uh, connected and turned on, you'll see that there's my keyboard listed in the devices. And just a little background for the Windows people is if you go to your device manager, you'll see that under the uh, audio devices, uh, you'll find uh, there's the keyboard listed. Your device should be listed there. And remember, the next time you come into Steam and it's not there, you'll get this warning message that it's not connected, and you'll have to turn it on and retry again. Okay, first I'm going to use Easy Score. And you see here under the sound menu, it has both MIDI and internal. So the first time through, you're hearing it on the Atari emulator, the Steam emulator, and not on the keyboard. So basically you would toggle this between the two, uh, depending upon what you're doing. So here's the same track uh, from the outside view where the uh, camera's picking up the uh, playing of the keyboard and I have the system volume turned down. So this works for both Easy Track and Easy Score hybrid arts uh, musical software. So now I've loaded up Cubase, the proverbial thousand pound gorilla in the room, and you'll see all the tracks there, including the piano. And here's the uh, keyboard playing uh, Queen. You can't hear it because of copyright problems, uh, but I assure you it's playing just fine. And of course, you're just not into playing something. You want to record something. Well, uh, all you have to do is a record button down here, and you'll see here you select the track. And I'll go ahead and hit record, and I'll start playing on the keyboard. Just a simple little five-note sequence. And you'll see that uh, the Cubase uh, will record it uh, appropriately. So you can conceivably uh, record on one track first, and then uh, do a different track, and mix in a different type of sound, uh, a different instrument, uh, all using the Cubase uh, software. And just to revisit a little bit, I've loaded up the default songs that come with Cubase so we can actually hear it as I'm playing it on my keyboard. Uh, it's going to sound a little funky because all the instruments are there, uh, but let's take a look. Now I've switched to an external view, loading up the, uh, the same uh, song, and you'll see that if we load up the song files, uh, they're contained here in the song directory, and just choose any one of them. We'll go here and say OK. 
and it'll appear and we're going to go ahead and uh, play it and you can hear it playing it through the emulator uh, to the actual uh, keyboard. Well, I did find the Easy Score, Easy Draw, and Cubase on the uh, archive.org. Uh, I found a sequencer that has been put into the public domain by its author. It's called Sweet 16. And quite frankly, uh, it seems to have a lot of the functions you may need. If you want to play around a little bit, uh, configuring everything, making sure everything works uh, with your uh, MIDI instrument. Now, it comes with a couple song files. If you use the file load, there's a load song pattern, etc. But here's some songs, uh, some demo songs uh, that came with it. And you simply can load that up. And you'll see it has different tracks. And you hit play, and sure enough, it plays. Now, because I had uh, Queen loaded up, I decided to go back and reload the default ones again from um, their demo library. And we're going to go ahead and play that on the keyboard so you can actually listen to it play. And you'll see here that uh, you can hear the songs playing just perfectly. And this is for any MIDI file, just about will work. And just a quick review for all you uh, actual musicians out there. You'll see that the number of functions within Suite 16 is crazy. It's a, a full featured sequencer. Uh, you can do anything you just want in any major software. Uh, kudos to the developer who, uh, of course, now it's uh, been put into the public domain by him. So not only can you configure your Steam emulator to access all the MIDI functions, but it appears to work flawlessly with all the music programs written for the ST, including uh, Easy Score and Easy Track, Cubase, the definitive uh, music program, but also Suite 16, a now public domain, a full featured sequencer for the Atari ST. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want more, you can just click on subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.